Now you're looking for a mini PC, a mini PC that is silent. Silent means it's small, it's small like this. And you want to make sure it runs an Intel chip like this one. So it runs an Intel chip, it's uh, 1.4 gigahertz, and it can get all the cloud to bash the mode all the way to 192. That's pretty fast. Four gigabytes of memory, 64 gigabytes of storage to put a mini application. But you know, the best thing that for me, I can run here a Plex server. So you can run a Plex server and load up MP3s moving and not play all around the house. Or um, Cody, put it right in the back of your TV and catch with the screen and everything. You hook up around your TV. So now you can have Cody play many movies, MP3s, pictures, all you want, or just use a web browser or, or uh, play games. And the best thing is real small, tiny, to put almost anywhere. Let's begin now. How are we doing, guys? This is Dario from Media Box CNT. And this is one killer box. Now, it's a small. Do not create any heat. And let me, let's look a few things here. Right on the top, right over here, that's the LED light. It will tell you when it's on because this is meant to put it right in the back of the TV. I'm not sure how the whole thing works. Now, if you look from this way, headphones, Ethernet, HDMI output, that's very important. This is a USB 3.0, so you can load all your MP3 SIM movies. 12 volts power supply that comes in the box. I'll show you that. Run the size. We have two uh, USB 2.0 power and SD card to expand the memory. Run the back. Pretty simple. We have a little adapter, and I'll show you what we get in the box. And I love it. It's, it's fast. It's fast, this thing. So, comes with the, with the adapter that you will put this in the back of the UTV. comes even with the screws. So, you got the screws right over here. So, you hooked up this. And this thing goes this way. And you got it. Right in the back of your TV. Or you can use this as a regular desktop. You know, a small desktop. That will be great. Now, power supply, 12 volt power supply. I'm gonna plug it in. So we got that. And the full manual, they so show you how you can hook this up. Then we're gonna go over it right now. Now, my case, I love to run this in the background. I mean, you can run this in the TV or you can run this and I show you. I have in my case, Team Viewer. It's a free application if you're going to use it for home use. It's totally free. You don't need to pay a penny. So you're on this stands alone with Team Viewer. In my case, I can run this as a Plex server now. Load up, hook up my uh, 4 terabyte drive. I'll show you how that works. I put my 4 terabyte drive, you know, leave in whatever room. Now, if you have a smart TV, you can, from your smart TV, you can connect to this box and load all your movies or oh, hooked up this with the HDMI output right in your TV it's right there in my case I have uh, team viewer every time I booted up the machine team viewer starts and now I can install whatever I want in my case I think one one thing the purpose I got this box is to run uTorrent uh, uTorrent what do you use uTorrent to download applications whatever you want to download Sometimes uh, you torrent, you don't want to be downloading things in your main computer. For whatever reason, we know we should not be doing that on the main computer. So we want something aside where I can download it. Do not use a lot of power because you have to leave your computer running 24 hours if you're not download whatever you want to download. So this doesn't use a lot of power. I can even hook up a manner if I want and leave it there. And whatever I have, I can... Uh, download it straight to this box or, or map it to a network drive or you can map this to a network drive or again put it back at the TV and, roll. and the nice thing is window now the configuration is like any other windows when you start up it's going to ask you simple information language keyboard 
uh, the wireless, and when you hooked up, start up. Um, I show you already. Already went through the installation. One thing I recommend you: soon you do the whole uh, process. There is any PC you buy today, you have to go to the process of the Windows uh, configuration. There's a few questions, and that's automatic by Windows 10. Uh, do a little update and leave the whole thing update. Once update, you run it now the latest version, and beyond that point, you can install whatever you want. So what I'm going to do now, and my case, what I did too, I got this 22 gig. I got 30 go, 22 gig going around, and I'm going to install this too. Now, this box can take up to 128 gig, and they're pretty cheap. You can buy 64 gigs for like 15 bucks. You maybe for 20 or 30 dollars, you buy 128 gig. So you sold 128 gig here. So now this one is my D drive. So yeah, I make this my D drive. And I went in my Windows. I said, listen, if you're going to install anything, applications, photos, whatever, install it right over here. And this is my D drive for your external drive, whatever. You can put it in uh, any other drive. So we're going to plug it in. And automatic, the light is on. See, the light is on the top. And you will say, why the light is on the top and not the front? But you have to remember, this is made to put it right in the back of your TV. All right? So you put it right in the back of your TV. And you can see, you know, from here when the box is on. So let me turn it on now. And it's on. What I'm going to do, too, show you that, too. We're going to hook up my 4 terabyte drive. To prove this thing works also that's great so i'm going to put my four terabyte drive right over here and now let's that again into this beautiful box so we are already running this is windows 10 a 64 bit running the machine so let me show you and actually i'm using team viewer and i love it because i can't like it anytime into the box so let's look some of the preference properties and we can see here uh, the manufacturer we see they has a four gigabyte so RAM it's the it's a home edition Windows 64 bit we see the Intel chip we're using right now right now it's like a 144 gigahertz and it's a full register uh, Windows 10. So let's look at uh, the C drive. And let's look better this way. My PC. And we can see here, uh, 4, we still have another 57 uh, gigabytes of free. But it's always good to install the second hard drive. So for that, we install uh, uh, the memory card. And since I got one running around the house, that was perfect. I just format. And that becomes my D drive. And then I store my MP3s and movies. And I click here. I can just load all my uh, MP3s. Play it from here. Or oh, it's a run uh, a Plex server. They have a server running here on this window. Run as a Plex server. They have this, all these MP3s or movies. You know, play right on, uh, right on the TV. And the good thing, what you can do, let's say you're going to put it in the back of your TV, what you want to do is hook up some type of wireless keyboard. And this is the best, best call to use, this type of keyboard. This one is USB. You just plug it in USB right there. Or you can use, in my case, what I have here. I have a dangle here. And I use my wireless uh, mouse and keyboard. You can use this type of keyboard and mouse. Wireless, you hooked up this, put the back of the display, your mandolin, and you're done. Or if you want to be custom on your couch, well, the preferred will be some of those uh, type of uh, keyboards. But definitely, if you need a, a, a mini PC, Windows 10, silence, there is no noise coming out of here. So perfect for you, media, uh, media TV, or just in, to use one for work. That's the one. To get more information, on this uh, mini PC, check the link below. Thank you.